20 years of Drift Kings. That's why we are celebrating 20 years of Valvoline D1NZ and just hiding in there. And now they're going to come out. Uh, your Drift Kings. So Bay Park, here come 20 years of Drift Kings. Make some noise. Let's go. It is the Valvoline D1NZ National Drifting Championship, your 20-year anniversary and the 20 years of Drift Kings. Look at those convertibles organised by Steve Daniel himself. And right next to me as well, up in the commentary box, we have a nine-year commentator. He hasn't been on the microphone uh, apart from earlier this morning since 2018. Warren Sear, a name that lots of people remember. Welcome up, mate. Thank you, Tony. Thanks for welcoming me up into the commentary box. And uh, Steve, of course, would normally be the voice that would guide us through <laughs> this, but uh, he's taken the opportunity just to go down and observe what he's what he's created here. And Cole, of course, is uh, well. He was the first one out the gate, right? Home track for Cole. He's got to be out there first. It's been a home track. I mean, Bay Park, Mercury Bay Park Speedway, it is an absolutely electric atmosphere out there. The crowd is an absolute bumper crowd. It's sellout. Oh, look at the state of some of these cars as well. You beautiful Impala there. And uh, Warren, you can run us through some of the stars that we're seeing, the, the DKs of yesteryear. Yeah, there's, uh, there's an empty retirement village somewhere, Tony, because <laughs> these are definitely the stars of yesteryear. That was uh, Adam Richards just came out the gate there in that beautiful Cobra. Following him out the gate, that is Justin Rude. The, the, we call him the godfather of drift. He was really one of the, uh, the driving forces in bringing drift to New Zealand. That is Carl Reutemann coming out. He was the uh, 07 champion, the E&H Motors Sylvia. He was a long-time drag racer who converted over to... Uh, yeah, sorry, he was a drag racer who came drifting. He, he was good at going in a straight line, and then he went, oh, I can go fast and turn corners as well. And following that, Tony, you know a little bit about this. This is the hard park winners that you put together out the back there. Yeah, the D1NZ Showcase Hard Park. So thanks very much to everyone who applied for that. And uh, sorry to the ones who didn't make it along, but we have a few awards that we did give away. Cole Armstrong on TV there. Look at that. He's soaking in the absolute electric atmosphere out on track. Uh, tell, I mean, Cole, I remember him coming out in this red R34 coupe. He had no yeah. sign writing, nothing when he first came out. Ex yeah, that's exactly right. He came out and I think he attacked that first Booker Coe round. I think if if I remember rightly he may have come first or second the first time out. It did take him a while to finally get to that DK crown and I know that it, that's a grating point for him that maybe uh, someone else might have beaten him to it but he did do it two times and look at that big smile he's at home there's the big bird he's waving he's lapping up that attention. What have we got here? A 70 caddy. That's Steve Soul, Soul Train. He's just hiding away in the back there, yep. isn't he, Steve? Very chilled out person, if you know Steve. Uh, yeah, very well. Certainly, yeah, loves to just chill out, doesn't he? Very well known for the camo yeah. paint jobs. So of course, he was behind the the WSR camo paint jobs. Tony Bremen, uh, Kurt Whitaker, Stephen Soul. Uh, there's a couple of other drivers that were part of that team as well. There is Gaz Whiter, Gary the Goat. Now, he's going to get some company tonight, <laughs> potentially, isn't he? Uh, hopefully he doesn't fall off the back of that <laughs> as the uh, hydraulic. Gaz doesn't look like he feels that safe there. I think he might be uh, regretting his choice maybe to go not go after a, a snapper or two today, Tony. Jarius Farido following in through as well. It's a name I remember from a long way back. Uh, almost probably one of the first drivers to see out there in the Drift Winning Championship uh, off the streets of Whanganei, I believe. Yeah, JT, uh, look, Northern was the home of drifting for a long time, right? But then arguably, I think the base probably become a bit of the home of drifting recently. Uh, but there's another Northlander as well, as we mentioned that. There's something in the water up there. Liam Burke, the animal. He was actually the only DK that I didn't get to call. He was the only one. I called him in pro sport, but I never called him as a pro. Adam Richards coming through in the Cobra. Then behind him, that is Justin Rude. Now, interesting fact about Justin Rude, well, not so much Justin, one of his cars, Sam West is out there still driving it. So, yes. I mean, as much as the, uh, I should be careful how I say this, but the uh, the drivers, they slowly age themselves as they go. But the cars, you know, they're still hanging on. They're still competitive. Do you want to know the worst thing about that? Both <laughs> myself and Kenny Ruddle drove that car on the skid pad <laughs> at Hampton Downs when Justin and Fanger tried to teach us to drift. And there you, they do, are. You know, do you know how t Do you know how Fanger Dan tries to teach you to drift? Just send it? No, he says, I'll stand here, you do a donut round me. If you hit me, I hit you. <laughs> <laughs> and there yep. they are, the Showcase Hard Park winners. It's Craig Moorfield there in the best pre-85 Mazda 808 rotary-powered wagon. And a oh. beautiful-looking Impala coming up the rear there. That's Gareth White. Uh, but look at the, oh, just what a great parade it is there. So Lots much. Thanks out. Of course, it goes to Steve Daniel as well for organising those convertibles. So much history out there, so much experience. I think we, we were doing some numbers earlier in the year, right? And I think Fanger Dan has now become the most successful drift driver ever in New Zealand. He's, he's had the most round wins, most podium appearances, and potentially tonight he joins Gary Wider as a four-time champion.
Now tell me, is Fanger Dan the only driver that we know of, that I know of uh, from memory, that has done all 20 seasons? I believe so, yes, that is correct. And he's also the only driver, I believe, who's won titles in different chassis with different motor configurations. So I actually had a fun conversation with Fanger before, and I said to him, oh, which car would you drive? If you could drive any car that's done D1 over the last 20 years, which one would you drive? And, funnily, and he didn't give a response that I thought at all. And he went, oh, look, it's one that we haven't really seen. I'd love to do it in a Corvette. Oh, really? I, and I don't know if I can say that because I've probably got him in trouble, <laughs> right? Because it's cross-brand and whatever. But he thought that would be a great challenge as we see Carl Reutemann. Always smiling as Carl Reutemann out of the ENH Motor Stable. He is now a uh, well-known ATV racer. Look at, look at that. Beautiful That's car. Well-deserving of that award in the D1NZ Showcase. Now, in the break we saw, um, or in the segment, we saw the drifters talking about their favourite part and their favourite memories yes. of D1. Now, you as a, uh, a commentator calling them. Do you have your favourite memory from the oh, nine years that you were out there? I've, I've got some very special and powerful moments that stick in my mind, right? And I, and I think back, and look, I sometimes I don't like bringing these up because they're very personal to people, but I think about Gaz and Tony Wider after they lost the beloved mother Vicky in that third title win. Uh, I, I think about moments like uh, calling Shane Van Gisbergen in a borrowed car, Darren Kelly's R32, down at Christchurch, and just the wave of emotion that the crowd rode as they saw a professional driver coming into what they perceive as their sport. I think about Mad Mike. Mad Mike, of course, had one hand on the title, and then he was knocked out early, and that was probably one of the most emotional interviews that's ever been given on the podium. So just there's just powerful moments. And then, quite honestly, Tony, there's just these cool things that happen I talked about golf shots, right, in that one lap, and sometimes it's just those, the young guys coming through, and they have that moment, hi mum, that's hi for, that's you Leanne, <laughs> hi mum, hi Bryce, hi Leanne, you guys aren't here, you're uh, watching on TV, tuned in, hopefully you're enjoying the show, as the DKs are out on track at the moment, and we do thank them all for being here, the only one of course that isn't here, Tony, is Darren Kelly, because he's got previous engagements at uh, Road Atlanta competing in FD. Yeah, I guess uh, some people have got better places to be than Bay Park Speedway, and one of them, uh, perfectly good reason, Formula D Atlanta, uh, 12, 14, 1500 horsepower, Aston Martin V12. Look at that beautiful AC Cobra on the screen there. Who would have thought, 20 odd years ago, we're standing at Pukekohe watching guys in cars that used to be diesel that were converted overnight with welded diffs on tyres that came off silage stacks, and we now have professional drivers competing at the highest level globally. And, and you're looking at the likes of Aston Martins, do you ever think you'd see an Aston Martin dressed up in drift kit going right. sideways, let alone in New Zealand uh, Mustangs? I, I didn't think we'd see an FD spec Mustang to be <laughs> fair that Fanger Dan's piling. So, look it's great to see Brendan White down there too just shaking hands with all the DKs, he's had a lot of history. We said earlier this morning if, if somebody dropped a bomb somewhere, Brendan White would be one of the people who would survive because he's been here for so long. Somehow he's still got hair, I don't know how he's still got hair. It's getting grey. I think maybe he dyes it. Do we have a, sp we have a sponsorship arrangement with anyone who colours here? Is that is that what's going on? Fanger Dan shaking the hand of Brendan White as he comes. Of course, Fanger's in a yeah, Mustang. Right? Fanger had to be in a Mustang. Yeah, absolutely. So Fanger Dan Woolhouse, uh, one hand on the trophy to be another DK for the fourth time in a row. And and Mac, special mention. How good is that race suit looking? It is looking special. It was uh, care of Fastmaster Enterprise. I think that's one of. Uh, is it a Marina? Is it? Is it the? Yeah. That's what the new suit is for Fanger Dan and the uh, RTR Century batteries. I was hoping he's going to have his uh, cowboy hat on. Actually, Adam Rich is, is he cowboy now? Well, he did have a cowboy hat. There's spotting early Adam, in. Adam Richards looks pretty comfortable in that Cobra there that Steve Daniel uh, kindly uh, wrangled. I saw Steve and uh, Launch Master Willie cruising around the mountain. What have we got here? Uh, so that is the DK Parade all done and dusted and of course the D1NZ Showcase Hard Park. <laughs>